Welcome to part two of the stock bike suck build. And we didn't say that in the part one video. I named this the stock bike suck build. I named this the stock bike suck build bike. And so, uh, and in short, called the SBS bike. SBS bike. bike. And uh, a link to where we have all the photos every step of the way of this build is in the description below. Right. Um, and so we'll kick it off with talking about the most glaring difference. It's a hard tail. There's no shocks on the back. Yeah. And uh, I think you have two options to go if you want a chopper. You can get a whole new hard tail frame or you can modify the factory frame. And I think we both agree that that's the easiest way to go about it because there's no title issues. You still have your original VIN, just a matter of chopping and welding on a new tail section. Yeah, and it's real simple and you can put the pictures up. We just, uh, we pulled the engine out, protected the chrome, pulled the engine out, cut the frame. Yeah, this hard tail comes from TC Brothers. It comes with a template, tells you exactly where to cut at. You know, there's no guesswork. You follow the instructions. You can't go wrong. And you did that same thing on yours, your bike also. Exactly. Right? It's the yeah. uh, easiest thing. And you use the TC Brothers also? Yes, sir. Yeah. So we cut it and then test fit it. Right, test fit it. And then put the engine in because the back of the engine mounts to the new part of the frame. Mm -hmm. Front of the engine mounts to the original part of the frame. Tacked it up. Right. Pulled yeah. the engine out again. And, and then finish welding and the welds and clean them up. So the engine acts as a jig. So it's everything is going to be put back to the original parameters and specs. So the drive line is not going to be off at all. The engine right. is the jig. It's going to drive just as straight as it did before you chop the frame. Right, right. Now it is longer. The axle is further back from the engine. Right. It's uh, two inches longer than stock. And, and it, it sits a little lower, I think. So this bike started as a just a hundredth anniversary of 2003 Sportster, like a custom, and so it had a mag wheel on the back. Yeah, and, and I took that off, put the spoke one on, and it, I, we had to make our own spacers. We had to make our own spacers. Yeah, we had to make our own spacers because this wheel, the hub, is different than the factory one. I couldn't get a uh, a hub that matched the factory. To, because I wanted to run a Sproder. Sproder. Yeah. I wanted to run the Sproder, which is a combination of a sprocket and a rotor for the rear brakes, which we'll talk about we'll more talk later about in a future video. So yeah, uh, you do need to uh, figure out what you're gonna do with a fender. This is from a Hummer. This is uh, when they uh, cut the military Hummers, they cut the top turret off. Right. They have this metal. And so this is from a Hummer and we just, uh, Bolted it in here and here. And installed the bone, the frame bones for mounting yeah. the fender. Yeah. So we mounted the uh, bracket tree here for a solo seat that has a shock absorber mm -hmm. that is between the bottom of the seat and the brackets we put here. So, yeah, the the beginning work of getting it framed up. Um, another thing we did with the frame is usually the battery for these Sportsters is under the seat. Mm -hmm. And usually the oil tank, most people put the oil tank here. And like I said in the first video, I want people to look at this bike and go, it's not finished. Right. How's it even run? So there's no oil tank here. The oil tank's going to be down here and it is U-shaped mm -hmm. and inside the oil tank is a set of place for the little lithium battery to ah. sit all down here, down low. All right, so it's really gonna look unfinished unless you look closely. Right, right. And then all the electronics, and we, an immense amount of research, and we'll get into the details of this as we go along, but all the electronics that you can show a picture of, mm -hmm. all the stuff that yeah. I pulled off here are all gonna fit in this little box. This is the electronics box that we've welded up and this electronics box is going to fit on the un below the engine between the frame rails, totally not visible. And you can see that we can take these three uh, fasteners out and mm -hmm. access the electronics should they need any maintenance. Excellent. 
Yeah, so in this video, we covered chopping the frame, which is essentially the definition of building a chopper. <laughs> and, you know, it's not the most difficult thing in the world. You know, you get TC Brothers provides a great kit. You follow the instructions. You can't do it wrong. But, you know, if you guys have any experience with it, any information you'd like to share, leave us a comment below. This covers part two of the SPS bike build. In part three, we're going to cover the front end and what we did to the front end. Yeah, so make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll be updated when that video comes out. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Share this video with your friends. Y'all run safe out there. So we're going to be having a video coming out soon on what, what to know when you go from two wheels to three. Yeah, it's a whole new world. <laughs> so look for that video coming soon. What's really interesting is today was your first time you have ridden yeah, a track. I've, I've sold thousands of trike parts to thousands of people. That's the first time I've actually operated a trike and it was an experience. 